Hey friends, it's Jess and Jericho, and last week we talked about the worst wet cat food brands. And today we're focusing on one manufacturer that also manufactures junk food for humans. So we kind of have to take a step back and ask, if they're producing junk food for humans, can their cat food really be healthy? Let's take a look. The first worst cat food brand we'll take a look at is a beloved vet recommended brand. I'm going to change the name, but I'm sure you can guess which it is, what it is, Unroyal Canon. So this one here doesn't have a product name rules, so we have no idea how much meat is in the product. We're off to a great start. Then we have chicken meal in the ingredients, and that word meal means that it's a rendered ingredient. That means it's cooked and pressurized multiple times. And AFCO states on their website that this can include 4D meat, which stands for dead, diseased, dying, and disabled. Then there's also chicken fat that's typically used as a flavor enhancer because a lot of these dry foods are very high in starchy and carb ingredients. Manufacturers know that that's not part of the cat's natural diet, so they add these flavor enhancer palatins to make the food more enticing for the cat to eat it. Then we have corn, brewers, rice, wheat, gluten, pea, fiber, wheat, corn, gluten, meal, rice hulls, dried, plain, beet, pulp. So all of these are harmful. They're anti-nutrients. And just like I said the second ago, they add a lot of these grain and starchy and carb ingredients to the product. And these ingredients are required for the product, not for cats, but they're required in this product because it's dry and these starchy ingredients hold that kibble shape together. Again, it's cooked and pressurized multiple times. So they need that starch to bind the ingredients. Additionally, all of these ingredients are cheap fillers. They can cause allergies and digestive upset. Then we have polyphosphates and phosphates. These are inorganic forms of phosphorus and in studies they've been linked to renal issues in cats. And remember, this is a vet recommended brand that's including these ingredients. Then when we use the guaranteed analysis to get an approximate of carb amount, it's about 46%. And interestingly, this particular product is called oral care, and it's pretty much half carbohydrates. And cats lack the enzyme amylase in their saliva. This is an enzyme that helps them break down carbohydrates. We produce it in our mouths, but cats do not. So how can this high carbohydrate food be good for their teeth if they can't properly break down carbohydrates in their mouth? The next worst cat food brand that's made by the same manufacturer is called Crimes. Well, it rhymes with crimes. And look at all these fancy label claims that we have here. Vet recommended, sensitive digestion and skin, made without wheat or soy, Real turkey is first ingredient. I love when they have to specify real turkey or real beef. It's like, what other type of turkey or beef would it be? And even on the FDA's website for pet food labels, it says do not be swayed by fancy gimmicks and marketing claims. So that's why it's important to understand how to read the label properly using AFCO's guidelines because Really, all of those label claims don't really mean anything. So let's take a look at what actually matters. And the first thing we'll look at is the product name. So this one says with turkey. So the previous product does not have a product name rule. This one does. It says with turkey. And that word with means that the turkey composition is less than 25%. The minimum requirement is 3%. If it had at least 25% turkey, it would say turkey dinner, turkey recipe, turkey formula. It would have one of those descriptive words. But this word with means less than 25% and the minimum requirement is only 3%. Then we look at the meat ingredients. We have turkey, chicken byproduct meal, chicken meal, chicken fat, and fish oil. So two of these ingredients are a mystery. Well, really three because chicken byproduct meal and chicken meal, those are both rendered ingredients. Probably not that great quality because it can include 4D meats. But the byproduct meal is what's more concerning because byproducts could literally mean any type of part. It's essentially leftovers from the human food industry. And I can buy all types of chicken parts at my local grocery store, like necks, wings, backs, feet, and 
liver, heart, all of these different secondary products. So we have to question what kind of leftovers are actually going into cat food. The other mystery is the fish oil. What type of fish? Is it salmon? Is it, is it Manhattan fish oil? Is it krill? Is it, is it sardine? Is it tuna? There are so many different types of fish. And if the manufacturer isn't, has no idea what type of fish they're using in the fish oil, how can we feel comfortable and safe about feeding this to our cat? And how could this be good for sensitive skin and digestion if it has all these mystery meat ingredients? I mean, cats need meat to survive and thrive. Then for the other ingredients, we have ground whole grain corn, brewer's rice, ground sour gun, beet pulp, caramel color, brewer's dried yeast. So remember on the front of the label, it says no wheat or no soy, but it still includes all of these starchy, carbohydrate-rich ingredients that aren't appropriate for cats. They can't digest these easily, and this specific product says that it's for sensitive skin and digestion. And when we use the guaranteed analysis to get an approximate on the carb amount, it's 41% carbs. So this is higher than the average. The average is about 33%. It's still a little less than the previous products, but again, this is way higher than what the cat would naturally eat, which is around 8% from a mouse. Give me a polydactyl thumbs up if this is helpful so far so more cat parents that want to feed their cats better can find this video. Thank you. The next worst cat food brand that we'll take a look at is typically marketed as treats, and I'm sure you can guess what it is just by looking at the label, but very interesting, they actually provide feeding instructions on the label, and it does say that it's complete and balanced as a complete meal, which is insane to me. The product name here is Chicken Flavor. So this is separate from the previous one that we just looked at with turkey. This one says Chicken Flavor. So that word flavor means that the minimum requirement drops down to 0% and it's guaranteed less than 3% chicken because of the with rule. So it's if it said with chicken, then that would be a minimum of 3%. But this one says chicken flavor, so that means the minimum requirement is 0%. So they could get away with not putting any chicken in this product, AFCO states, just enough so that the flavor is detected. For the meat ingredients, we have chicken byproduct meal. Mmm, sounds so good. Animal fat and meat byproducts. So at least with the previous two, with, with the byproducts and the meals, they did clarify which animal that they're using. But with this one, it just says meat byproducts. What kind of meat? It could literally be any type of meat. I feel like I talk about this in every single video, but there's a CRS report for Congress on the animal rendering industry that states that these byproducts, these rendered ingredients, can include dead animals from animal shelters. Scary, I know, but I have other videos with solutions. These aren't the only types of videos that I make, I promise. Now there are chicken ingredients in the ingredients list, but we know that that composition is less than 3%. So the majority of the meat-based ingredients in here are a complete mystery. Then we have ground corn, brewer's rice, wheat flour, brewer's dried yeast. Again, these are not appropriate for cats. And this is probably the largest composition of the product since we know that the chicken is 0% minimum requirement. And when we use the guaranteed analysis to come up with a carb amount on a dry matter basis, it's about 37%. So more than a third of this entire product is from carbohydrates, AKA ingredients that cats aren't designed to digest, especially in such large quantities. Now I'm not saying if you're feeding these worst cat food brands to throw them out immediately. Cats are very, very sensitive to food changes. So definitely check out my transition plan right over Meow. It's specifically for picky cats so you can feed whatever he's eating now to wet or raw. Thanks for watching.